Hey guys, this tutorial is going to be on hollowing out your mesh so you have a hollow center. Uh, pretty much the reason people do this is to, if you're using a professional printing service or if you're printing at home, you probably want to save money or save filament and having your center really doesn't do any good. So this is how to hollow it out. Uh, if you can see why, uh, uh, looking at cutting it in half and then turning on double-sided faces is pretty much what a uh, watertight mesh looks like without it being hollowed out. Uh, basically what a slicer will do is uh, use that normal information and whatever algorithm it uses to uh, fill it in with uh, filament, it'll kind of bridge gaps uh, between one like the front and the back, or vice versa. Um, so basically how you start is uh, you use your insert brush. We're going to use a cylinder. Uh, hold Alt and drag. And you will have that. What you want to do next... Uh, I'll do this one more time. I want to get it nice and centered so it looks good. There we go. Okay. Uh, it's under your geometry and dynamesh tab. Uh, they have a button called create shell. Um, what you're going to want to do is, yeah, it's right over here. Yeah. Um, there is a slider to the right with called thickness. You're going to want to use that um, for this particular size. Uh, basically, it doesn't it'll redynamesh it and then create a shell. Uh, I'm going to use 30 for this particular case. It depends on the scale of your model. Um, always use your transpose uh, tool to kind of remind yourself how big your model is. Um, we're going to use 30 for this one though. I'm going to hit create shell. It's going to take a little bit. Uh, it does a lot of rendering. It, takes quite a while. I'll come back after that's done. Take a look at the inside. We're gonna take a look at the. Uh, I'm gonna cut it in half again. See what it looks like. Yeah. So even if that was pretty small, those should be thick enough walls that uh, no matter what material you're making it out of, it should work for it. Uh, basically, we want to do a little cleanup work. Uh, we don't want to take it just as is. So we're going to highlight that poly group with uh, the transpose line. And get on your deformations and polish my features. Um, it's an okay job if you set up default, but if you turn off that dot on the right, it does a lot, a lot better. You want smooth meshes on the inside versus like uh, stair-stepped ones. Those can cause more issues print wise. Um, and it's just a lot cleaner looking. I accidentally forgot to uh, unhide the other side, so we're just going to do that again with the whole thing showing. Basically, it creates those three polygroups with uh, the original, the uh, the intermediary, which is like that purple one the purple poly group and then the inside. Uh, I just want to want to clean up both of those, uh, the inside and the intermediary one, uh, just to make sure that it's uh, all good and clean and good to go. One a good benefit with this is uh, this could also uh, cut down on print times. Um, 
if you leave it just to the algorithm to kind of fill it in with uh, with filament, uh, it could take a while. Um, it's bridging the gap between the front and the And you just want to decimate, last step, uh, I'll save you from looking at that. This is in our slice program, uh, right now I'm using MakerWare. Um, we're just going to look at the two different meshes versus if you hollow it versus you don't. Left you, there's no hollowing, right there is. We're going to look down in, into its layers as it draws it. Uh, you'll see the difference between it. Uh, see the left, uh, pretty much just draws it on whatever algorithm it uses makes this hex design um, which could waste a lot of filament um, if there's just draws the one outside perimeter versus if you hollow it out it'll draw that plus the inner wall it's gonna just save on print times uh, costs if you're using something, something like a professional printing service or something and uh, yeah it just pretty much it speeds the process along and uh, just uh, helps you out in the end happy modeling